The Lives of the Saints by Father Alban Butler, August 2nd, St. Justice, Archbishop of Lyons. His virtues rendered him so conspicuous whilst he served the Church of Vienne in quality of deacon that he was advanced to the Metropolitan See of Lyon about the year 350. In this exalted station he showed by the whole tenor of his conduct that he feared nothing but God, hoped for nothing but from God, and regarded not the applause or presence but wants of those that approached him. His patience and temper were proof against every trial. The ardor of his zeal made him severe in reproving everything that deserved reproof. His attachment to discipline and good order was inviolable and his love of peace, concord, and unity, sincere and constant. He was circumspect everywhere, and in all things. A great council of western prelates, being assembled at Aquileia, in the reign of Gratian, in 381, St. Justus of Lyon, with two other bishops from Gaul, assisted at it. The chief affairs there debated, regarded the Arians, and St. Ambrose managed everything in that venerable assembly. That holy bishop had a particular respect for our saint, as appears from two letters which he addressed to him concerning certain questions of the Holy Scripture. It happened a little before this council that at Lyon, a certain madman who had stabbed some persons in the street, took sanctuary in the great church, and St. Justice, in order to appease the mob, delivered him into the hands of a public officer, upon the promise that the prisoner's life should be spared. Notwithstanding this, he was dispatched by the populace. The good bishop was apprehensive that he had been accessory to his death, and was by that irregularity disqualified for the ministry of the altar. And having long desired to serve God in retirement, he made use of this occasion to resign the pastoral charge. The extreme opposition of his flock seemed an impediment to his design, but his journey to the council afforded him a favorable opportunity, and in his return he stole from his friends in the night at Torrente, and bending his course to Marseille, he there took shipping with a lector of his church named Viator and sailed to Alexandria. Concealing his character, he lived unknown in a numerous monastery in Egypt, surpassing the whole community in the fervor of his penance. After some years, he happened to be discovered by one who came from Gaul to visit the monasteries in Egypt. The whole house was much surprised at so extraordinary an example, and the Church of Lyons had no sooner notice, but a priest called Antiochus was sent to conjure him in the name both of the clergy and people, to return. But he was not to be prevailed upon. Antiochus determined to bear him company in his solitude and penance, and the saint shortly after died in his arms, about the year 390. His body was soon after translated to Lyon. Saint Justice is commemorated on this day in the Roman martyrology and in those of Bede, Edo, and Usward. The village of Saint Justin Cornwall takes its name from this saint.